So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the OpenAI library and then subsequently we'll be sending our first message to the AI. We're going to be sending a message to the chat AI, that's OpenAI chat AI and receiving a response, an intelligent custom response from the AI. We've already put our uh, OpenAI key in our, that's the API key in our environment variable. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is install the OpenAI library. That's the OpenAI Node.js library. So I'm just going to go to the command line. Uh, let's kill this application and we'll say npm install openai the openai library is called openai so we'll just say npm install openai and just wait for that to complete its installation going 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 and now it's done we now have the openai library in our application so let's go back to vs code so look to vs code and let's start setting this up so first thing i'm going to do is reference the library here i'm just going to do it on the body parser and say const open ai equals require open ai require open ai so i have the open ai library and now we can configure it let's scroll down and do the configuration just under uh, let's do it on the body parser here so the first thing I'm going to be doing is setting up a new OpenAI configuration. So I think I'm just going to destruct this. Um, there are two libraries I'm, that will be needed here. So instead of just saying OpenAI, I'm just going to destruct this. And I'm going to need the configuration library. And I'm also going to need the OpenAI API library. So yeah, these two. Should I? Can I call them libraries again? Or just modules, configuration module, OpenAI API module. So you have these two. So first let's set up a configuration let's say um let's say configure the comment here configure open here so the first thing we're going to do is a const configuration configuration and that will be um we'll set that to new a new configuration that's this configuration model or object then we're going to set that up and put a configuration object inside it and for now the only thing we're going to, we're going to be setting is the api key there's api key and we'll set that to equal the api key that we have stored in our env file so that will be process dot env and we have named that open ai api key now you can name this configuration key anything you want as long as you're storing the same it uh, you're storing it with this name in the environment whether using the .tmv uh, strategy that we're doing here or storing it in your server environment so you reference your api key and now we have a new configuration now let's set up open ai let's set up open ai say const open ai equals that's the api we say new open ai api and we're just going to pass it the configuration that we just built so we now have a handle to the openai api and we can call different methods on this as we are going to be seeing much later so now that we have configured our openai library to have access to the openai api let us send our first prompt uh let's go into the message uh route to do that so to begin i'm First, going to be setting up try catch because I want to make sure that I'm catching errors properly. So yeah, try catch, and then we can call the OpenAI API. So the first thing we're going to do is say const, and we want a chat completion. We want to get a chat completion or just a response. Yeah, or let me just let's call it AI response. Let's say okay, we want the AI response, An AI response, and uh, to do that, we Call the OpenAI library and we call the chat completion. Tell it to create chat completion. Sorry, create a chat completion. Create a chat completion. And uh, we're going to be passing a few configuration into this, but this is an asynchronous call. So we'll need something like um, this, this, this returns a promise. So we are going to be using a sync await. So I'm just going to put async here and put await here. So async await, 
this is the method for creating the response to a message to a chat message there's also text completion uh, but for this we are using chat completion because we're trying to have a chat with the OpenAI API. So the next thing we're going to do is define the model we're going to be using. For this, we're going to be using the GPT 3.5 Turbo. Yeah, this is the uh, recommended chat uh, model to use. It's fast, it's stable, and it's very cheap uh, considering the OpenAI pricing. Let me wrap this. My view seems to be moving horizontally. Yeah, let me just wrap this so that we don't have all these horizontal bars. But we can just push this to the side also. Okay, yeah, so we have, we define our model. And the next thing to define is an array of messages. Now, OpenAI takes more than one message because you sometimes need to define what the chat is to act as. Maybe you want it to be a PHP expert, you want it to be a JavaScript expert, you want it to be a product manager or a product or a project manager. You can actually define that with something called a system message. Then you define your own message with a user message. And sometimes when you need the chat to be aware of a previous context, you have to define something called an assistant message. But for this, we're just going to be defining a user message because we just want to send a simple message. We want to see our hello world to the OpenAI chat API. So we're just going to be sending one message. So for that, we're going to create an object and that object will contain a role. Like I said, we're only doing the user message for now because this, that is the actual message. That is the actual message we're sending to the to the OpenAI AI message it roles like assistant and uh, system that I mentioned earlier is just for defining the role that uh, the OpenAI chat is to act as and the assistant one, like I said, is to give it a bit of context of what its previous conversation was. So we're going to be sending the user role, which is the current message we want to send to the AI. And then the, we have a content property that then defines the message. So for this, I'm just going to say, when was Node.js released? I'm typing this message in directly now, but you def will definitely be using um, the request object to get this message in. But for this video, we're just going to be typing it in. So yeah, we have the message. And now let's print back the response. Let's print back the response. So I'm just going to take this response here and uh, bring it in here into the try block. So bring it in air and uh, my air instead of my air response being this ad coded uh, string, I'm just going to say AI response dot data dot choices because of um, oftentimes uh, you can get more than one response depending on what you define as the temperature. There's actually a setting here that you can set. You can say temperature and uh, it will determine whether you should have diverse answers or very deterministic and direct answer that is just one very short answer from the ai but uh for now we're not going to be setting the temperature but still we'll still need to take our response from this choices uh, array and then we say dot message which is the actual message yeah dot message so that will be the response from the ai let's save that if there's an error we just want to console dot error that the error yeah that's how we we'll take care of the error for now so let's test this out let's test this out uh this is a post endpoint so i'm going to be testing this out uh i won't be able to use the browser i'm going to use something like postman so let's just bring up postman and say local host colon our app is running at 1330 and we say slash message this is our first call to the open ai chat api let's see what we get hit send so it's going it's taking a while i hope there are no errors let me check my okay i think there's probably an error oh i wasn't running the app interesting <laughs> that's a node server <laughs> sorry about that node server the server wasn't running i was just writing code and all that so yeah node server now let's go back to postman and hit send once again Now we should get a response. Still taking longer. I hope there are no errors. Let's go back. Oh yeah, this seems to be. An, is this an error? Doesn't look like an error though. Um. Oh, interesting. 
401 i'm being blocked that's strange uh, i'm just going to check on my api key and come back so i think i've realized what the error was i didn't activate my dot emv yeah i'm using dot emv here but i didn't activate it or rather i didn't set it up so i'm just going to come here and say const dot env equals require require dot env my bad so i didn't set up dot env and um just before anything I'm going to call dot env dot config yeah I need to set up .env to reference this env file. So .env.config, and now I can have access to this environment variable. So let's test that once again and hope there are no errors this time. So go to the command line. Um, let's kill this, clear, and now say node server.js. .js. Yeah, we're running once again, and let's hit the send button here once again so now as you can see we have now gotten our response from the ai ai response the role is assistant now you'll be wondering we sent a role of user but we got a role of assistant that's because this current message this current response will now be the previous message of the next one that's why i gave you the role of assistant and the response that we got was that node.js was first released on may 27 2009 so now we have been able to successfully get a response from our ai